Close to Balboa Park, Hillcrest has become a magnet for larger numbers of homeless people and an increase in problems. 10 News reporter Bob Lawrence with how the community hopes that a less confrontational approach will make a difference. Grab some water. Grabbing supplies out of the Alpha Project van, Brendan Smith makes his way to places many of us won't go. You see people in all the back alleys next to all the abandoned buildings. That's from an interview about the homeless in Hillcrest in 2007. Now, almost 10 years later. It's a growing concern in the neighborhood. Benjamin Nichols with the Hillcrest Business Owners Association, who along with council member Todd Gloria's office, are funding a $50,000 effort to address that growing concern. A certain group of the homeless people that have um, a certain level of aggressiveness to them and so the customers are a little bit nervous about that. Enter Brandon Smith and his outreach team to make contact. You get to know a lot of them just as regular people. And establish trust. When they do decide and feel comfortable with uh, talking to us, then we always come back and make sure that they're taken care of. Bob McElroy heads the Alpha Project, which did a pilot program in Hillcrest six months ago. We placed over 40 people into uh, permanent supportive housing over a thousand contacts. Doing that, McElroy said, reduced the homeless numbers on port properties by 40 percent. Still, the problem persists. Eventually, people get sick and tired of being sick and tired, and the blessing with the outreach team is we're here every day. The key, McElroy said, is housing first, and that concept will be put to the test when the conversion of the old Church Hill Hotel at 9th and C opens as permanent housing with support services. In the meantime, Smith and his crew will take it one step at a time. Bob Loans, 10 News. And the outreach project in Hillcrest is funded for a full year with an effort to find permanent funding to keep this effort going.